fine. There you are. Thank you. Gee, that's swell photography. <laughs> well, we better get back to the hotel and get our things packed, because the boat sails at 12 o'clock tonight. Not for me, it doesn't. What do you mean? I've decided to stay a while. In fact, if my plans work out right, I may never go back. Well, you've got to go back or we'll lose our job at the fish market in Des Moines. So the... what? There are plenty of fish markets here in Paris. Uh, garçon. Yes, uh, monsieur. Another glass of milk and two fresh straws. You know what? I think you are hiding something from me. <laughs> Candy is sweet. This is something I sent you to eat. Ollie. Oh, that's too funny. But the flowers are beautiful. Oh, oh Candy! Who is he? He's the American guest. <laughs> but we must not ridicule his generosity. Really, he and his friend are very kind. It was just the fault. <laughs> and the delicious chocolate. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you might want something to nibble on while you were smelling the flowers. Oh. <laughs> 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 About. Stanley, can you keep a secret? Sure. I'm in love. You don't tell me. Who is it? The most gorgeous creature in the world. Hmm. Georgette, the innkeeper's daughter. Well, I don't blame you. She sure is a swell dish. She certainly... Yes, sir. Don't call her a dish. She's the girl that I'm going to marry. Get a load of this diamond ring. Boy, it sure is a load. <laughs> yes, sir. Say, when are you going to get married? Just as soon as I ask her. Why don't you ask her now that we can all go out and celebrate? That's just what I intended to do. We'll get cleaned up and I'll go down and pop the question. That's a good <laughs> idea. You sure we'll have a lot of fun now. You sure can pick them. I never saw anything like you. What are you doing with that cushion? Well, I keep on bumping my head. See? Move it in front of the window where you can stand up. How anyone could be so stupid as to stand there and continually bump their head is beyond me. Oh! Why don't you stand in the window? Why don't you mind your own business? 
Oh. Well, it is always a holiday of some sort, eh? What is it? <laughs> it's this. The girl thinks he's funny. Yes, this one, yes. But remember, Georgette, you are a married woman. And Francois is a little jealous. Oh, Papa. <laughs> he's not serious. Oh, yes. It's just the American way of having oh, fun. Oh, yes, yes, huh? might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, run along, you girls. Just tighten you up. Come, 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 come. 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 Francois! It is so good to see you. After such a long time, why didn't you let us know you were coming? I want to surprise Georgette. Where is she? Oh. Georgette! Georgette! Yes, Papa. Uh. Francois! Oh, no. Oh, my darling Georgette, I've waited every day, every hour, every minute. My poor Francois. Oh, I've worried about you way out in that lonely post in Morocco. Well, it was lonely, terribly lonely, but that's all over now. I've got great news for you. I made arrangements for you to join me when I go back. Oh, Johnny, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, Bob. You must be hungry. I'll get you something to eat. Well, how about a nice cool drink? Well, that's great. It'll just put me in the mood. Yes, sir. <sighs> My friend and I would like a bottle of wine and bring three glasses. Three glasses? Uh, we thought maybe you'd like to join us. <laughs> you know, I feel as fidgety as a jitterbug. You do? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, I'm nervous. You know, Stanley, this will be the first time I've ever been married. <laughs> Say, now's a good time to... Go on, why don't you? Oh, go on, tell her. What's the matter, you scared? I'll tell her for you. Oh, no, not now. I know just how you feel. Let me fix it for you. Oh, I can fix it. Just eat. Say, he's got something to tell you. Something to tell me? Yeah, he's nuts about you. Nuts? Just plain nuts. Oh, wait. No, I don't mean that. I mean, he's crazy about you. He's going to marry you. Aren't you, Ollie? Go on, stop popping. You want to marry me? Well, that is, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I must hear you make fun of me. No, he's not kidding. He's on the level. Aren't you, Ollie? Why, certainly. I was never more sincere in my life. That's very nice of you, I'm sure. But that can never be. Oh, won't you give me one chance, Georgia? Go on, why don't you? There's someone else? Oh, yes. Very much so. I'm so sorry. Well, that's that. No use crying over split milk. Well, I guess we'd better be going, eh? Come on, we'll... You go ahead. What's the matter? Aren't you going out with me? I want to be... alone.
You won't be long, darling. No, darling, but it's absolutely necessary I report to headquarters. You'll be back right away? Just as quick as I can. Don't worry about it. You'll get over it all right. To think that this would happen to me, just at a time in my life when I needed something real, something wholesome, something tender. Why don't you try a nice, fat, juicy steak? That'll make you feel better if you have something to eat. You don't understand. Get me some smelling salts. Oh. Oh. Anything else I can do for you? Yes. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Don't talk to me like that after all the hospital I've given you. Try to give you candy and nice, fat, juicy steak. I've waited on you with your hands and feet. Try to tell you that there's plenty more girls. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> if I felt as bad as you, I'd go and drown myself. Stanley, you've given me an idea. What? I'm going to follow your advice. Good. And now, drown myself. Oh, wait a minute now. Listen, I, I was only kidding. This I, is no time for kidding. I know, but don't you think you ought to think it over? Have you ever been drowned I before? I have thought it, it over. And since Georgette has given me the air, I have nothing left to live for. Oh, don't be silly. What do you mean, I, don't be silly? This is a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Well, Sally, so... Stand. Good luck. Where are you going? Well, I don't want to get my name dragged into this. Yeah. What? What's this for? Now, when I count three, we'll both jump in. What have I got to jump in there for? I'm not in love. So that's the kind of a guy you are. After all I've done for you, let me jump in there alone. Do you realize that after I'm gone, that you just go on living by yourself. People will stare at you and wonder what you are. And I wouldn't be here to tell them. There'd be no one to protect you. Do you want that to happen to you? I never thought of that. 
I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, Ollie. I didn't mean to be so dispolite. That's all right, Stanley. Let bygones be bygones. This is going to be easier than you think. Now move this over here for me. Don't do that. Are you ready? Goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye, Stanley. One, two. Ollie. What? I just thought of something. Listen, you remember once you were telling me that when we passed away, we'd come back on this earth in some other form, like a bird or a dog or a horse or something? Oh, you mean reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, now that we're going to go, what would you like to be when you come back? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. I like horses. I guess I'd like to come back as a horse. Huh. What would you like to be when you come back? Oh, I'd rather come back as myself. I always got along swell with me. I you mean... can't come back as yourself. Now, come on and stop wasting my time. Are you ready? Goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye. One. Two. Ollie, just thought of something. Do you think the water's deep enough? Maybe you might bump your head if it isn't just... Well, I never thought of that. up in there. There's a fella watching us. What are you trying to do? Talk me out of this? I came here to jump in this river, and that's what we're going to do. Now you quit this horsing around, or I'll jump in without you. Don't leave me, Ollie. Well, are you ready? All right. Goodbye, Ollie. Shut up. One. Two. Pardon me, gentlemen. What seems to be the trouble? going to jump in the river. But why commit such a foolish action? Surely your troubles can't be as bad as all that. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell him. All because he fell in love with the dame. Now, isn't that silly? No woman is worth that. I should say not. You haven't seen her. If you knew her as I know her... I understand, but don't forget there are plenty more fish in the sea. He's not in love with a fish. It's a girl, you <laughs> see. She... That's just an expression, my friend. Oh. I realize perfectly how you feel, but uh, you're too much to live for. Sure, you've got your dog, and there's me, and... Life is too precious to throw away on account of uh, some woman probably isn't worthy of you. He's right, darling. What She's he... worthy, all right. But there was another man. And if I could meet him face to face, what I'd do to him would be nobody's business. Yes, sir. Well, advice is cheap. Maybe if you'd listen to my suggestion, your problem would be solved. What is your suggestion? Join the Foreign Legion. What for? To forget. Say, that's not a bad idea, Ollie. It's better than jumping in here. You could forget and all that troubles. You're with... right, Stanley. Thank you, mister, for telling us. It was a pleasure. Goodbye and good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gee, that's great, isn't it? Now we don't have... Say, we can't join the Foreign Legion. We gotta be back in Des Moines on the 17th. Well, you ready? One. Just a minute, Ollie. Hey, mister. If we join the Foreign Legion, how long will it take him to forget? No time at all, just a matter of a few days. Well, that's swell. We'll have plenty of time. Now we don't have to worry about yeah. it. Say, we won't need this, will we? No.
command, Captain. Lieutenant, close order drill for the first platoon. Very well, sir. These clothes sure don't fit you very well, do they? Oh, they'll be all right for now. We only use them for a few days until I forget. It's right, too. Left time. Left. assign you to your duties. Reveille at five, you dress quickly, make up your bunks and get ready for inspection. Inspection until seven. Ten minutes for breakfast. You drill until one and march until four. What about lunch? You'll have that while marching. You have inspection until six. Fifteen minutes for mess, kitchen duties until ten, inspection until eleven, then taps. That is all. We have to do all that. You won't have time to forget. Why don't you tell him? Uh, how much do we get for all this work? 100 centimes a day. Well, that's not bad. Uh, how much is that in American money? Oh, American money? Well, it's equivalent to about three cents a day. Of course, it varies with the rate of exchange. Well, how much do we get for overtime? There ain't gonna be any overtime. If you think that you're gonna get that much work out of me for three cents a day, brother, you are crazy. Is that so? Absolutely. Yeah, and that goes for me, too. Because we don't work for less than 25 cents a day. Do we, Ollie? Uh, 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 uh.
and get to work. What do you think this is? Get back to work! <laughs> Haven't I got enough trouble without you making it tougher? Well, it's your own fault. If you hadn't fallen in love with Georgette, we wouldn't be here. Wouldn't have to Will do you it. stop reminding me of that? Here I am trying to forget, and you keep talking about it all the time. Now, here's another day wasted. Well, maybe you don't try hard enough. If you can't forget, why don't you try and pretend to forget? How can anybody pretend to forget? Well, I know if it was me, I'd sit down and, and relax. I'd close my eyes, and I'd concentrate, and I'd think of nothing. Wouldn't be long then, that's what I'd do. Say, I think you've got something there. I know I've got something. Why don't you take a whirl at it? Now, don't think of anything. I won't. I know it's tough to forget a swell gal like that. Gorgeous hair and lovely eyes. Beautiful teeth. Ruby lips. Mm, gorgeous. I can see her now. Oh, oh, oh. So can I. Will you shut up? How can I concentrate when you keep talking about her all the time? Now keep quiet. Let me alone. Now sit down. If you don't stop bothering me, I'm going to punch you in the nose. Didn't I tell you to quit that? You'll hear about this later. Through with that washing, the cook wants you to manicure them vegetables for tomorrow's stew. I beg your pardon? You heard. Well, can you beat that? How do you think we're going to do Stanley, all this working? Stanley, I feel something coming over me. You do? A miracle has happened. What? I've completely forgotten. You mean you've forgotten Georgette? Who's Georgette? Gee, that's swell. Now we can finish the washing and we can go home. Finish we... nothing. We're going now. Well, you're talking. Absolutely. And I found them asleep. And when I told them to go back to work, they threw wet laundry in my face. Oh, they did, eh? Well, I'll show them what it means to disobey my orders. Goodbye! Gee, I'm sure glad to get out of this joint. Me too. Have you got everything? Uh-huh. 
Now we'll go over to that competent guy and tell him we're through. And at the same time, I'll give him a piece of my mind. I don't blame you. Three cents a day. Ha! Left oh, turn. Oh. Left. Turn out the guard and place them both under arrest. Yes, sir. That's a big idea, keeping us waiting. You know what? What? He's not here. Well, of course he's not here. Well, let's go look for him. Look nothing. I'll leave him a note. Oh, I wouldn't bother to leave him a note. Just leave him a P.S. Oh. Good enough for him. smoke a pipe. Well, whatever he smokes it. Well, you've got to be careful about those things. And if I could have spelled raspberry, I'd have told him a lot more. How much do we get? Three cents a day. Right. Never during my army career have I been so grossly insulted. Just wait till I get my hands on him. the sky I ain't had no loving since January, April June or July Snow time Tain't no time to stay outdoors and spoon Shine on Shine on Harvest moon For me and my gal The train leaves for Paris. The sooner the better for me. Thank Say, what, 
Which way to the depot? Just around the corner. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Let no one pass through that gate, no matter what happens. Yes, sir. Come on. Say, we're not going to take a plane, are we? <laughs> I should say not. I don't know, but I know what keeps me down. Me too. Good old terracotta for me any time. Permiscuously. What? Josette, <gasps> darling. Mm. Now I'm so happy. At last I'm here with you. Have you missed me? Every day has been a year, darling. I'll bring the car for you. You wait here just a moment. Could you tell us the way to the railroad depot? It's your hobby. Georgette, <laughs> so you've changed your mind. Darling, I forgive you everything. <laughs> Say, I thought you said you'd forgotten it. Don't be silly. How can I forget my little Georgette? Oh. Oh, monsieur. I understand. Stanley, we wish to be alone. Okay. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Ah! Oh, darling. Oh. Ah. Oh, my. Ah. oh, this is dumb. Oh, please. Please, Johnny. What's the big idea? The idea is that this lady happens to be my wife. Oh, is that so? Your wife? Yes, you would-be homewrecker. Francois, Francois, please don't. He did not understand. Kindly step into the car, my dear. I want to speak to this gentleman alone. Now, once more, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Keep away from my wife. If I ever see or hear of you being in her presence again, I'll see to it that your worthless carcass lies sizzling in the desert sun at the mercy of the vultures. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, mister, you don't have to worry about us. We're leaving right now, aren't we, Ollie? We certainly are. Yes, sir. All in. Who's he talking? Fall in! What do you mean, fall in? We're through. Didn't you get our note? Yes, I got your note, and when you signed it, you signed your own death warrant. You're under arrest for desertion. Now, fall in! Oh, Call them to jail and have the guard to keep a close watch on them. Yes, sir. Fall in! Deserters. Deserters, eh? Come on, I'll show you to your suite. Get in. Hey, come on. Get in. Don't push me. Revolution, eh? Good, good, good. Huh. I'll see you at sunrise. I'll, um, um, I'll show them where to get off at. What did we do? What did you do? Sure. Why, you know... Why, you... Get in there! Get in there! Hey, mister. What? You forgot your keys. Look. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? Prisoners have been found guilty and will be shot 
at sunrise. There's a nice pickle we're in. Shot at sunrise. I hope it's cloudy tomorrow. Say, Ollie. What? Do you still want to come back as a horse? I don't care if I never come back. <laughs> Where are we going? This tunnel leads to the outside wall. We are making our escape. Well, are we allowed to do that? Go ahead. cell and get those ten plates. I don't want to go back to the cell. Will you hurry? This is our last chance. Why do I have to always do everything? 
or was me? Me, me. What you had done? Never you. You. have escaped. What? The prisoners have escaped? Then find them. Yes, sir. I want both those prisoners brought back dead or alive. Call out the entire post if necessary. I wonder what time it is. Now, how do I know? We should be beyond the wall by now. Seems like we've been working. I guess you're right. We'd better start digging up. It's a good idea, man. Oh, stop all this nonsense now. <laughs> Don't you dare go back to Paris again and leave me alone, see? Darling. <laughs> oh, uh, bring up a bottle of that special vintage wine from the cellar, will you? Yes, sir. some saloon outside the fort. Time like this, you had to do that. Quick, help me get her on the bed. Get her feet. Quick, 
Quick, get me a glass of water.
tighten up the slip. Good, now let's get out of here.
Hey, Stan! Look! I'm over here! Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Ollie, is that really you? Well, of course it's me. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Thank <laughs> you.